Hello everyone, welcome back to the production pipeline third stage that is lighting or look and feel development or sometimes you can say aesthetics development also. So after successful completion of modeling and texturing, now it's the time to get lit up the product or the character here. So here in lighting session, we will discuss the entire lighting process in Maya application in five sub module or sub session. We will discuss the introduction of lighting here. Then we will discuss about the types of lighting in Maya application. There are several types of lights available in Maya like direction light, ambient light, point light, and so on. We will discuss all these light in detail in practical sessions in upcoming sessions. After completion of lighting, now it's really very essential to assign or lock the camera before you start the rendering or before you start the lighting in any 3D kind of application. So we'll learn how we can work with the camera in Maya application and we will understand the render setup and batch rendering also here, how we can easily generate image sequence in Maya application. After successful completion of camera understanding and the fundamental of lights, now it's a time to get learn the photorealistic lighting with the help of Maya IES profile. After successful completion of these all fundamental option in Maya application, now it's a time to get learn some production ready output that is we will learn Maya interior lighting and the Maya exterior lighting in this coming sessions. After successful completion of these all things, we will learn how we can assign the physical sun and lights in Maya application for daytime rendering. After successful completion of these all sessions, now it's a time to get learn the third party render like Arnold, Mental Ray or the Tartin in my application. So as per industry requirement, we will learn any of these third party application, how we can use Mental Ray base or the Arnold base render in my application. Sometimes it's called indirect illumination techniques also. Now let's move to the module number 11 where we will start from the fundamental of lighting and how we can utilize the lighting and their use in Maya application. Hello everyone and welcome to this course. So in this session we will discuss about the introduction to lighting. So we will start from basics and here you have the Maya interface and so what we will do, we will go to polygon and we will just uh, do a quick uh, setup that means we just do the quick setup so i will uh, normal modes which is five pressing the box this render and one more thing is the sphere so we have three things and including the uh, this particular part we have four things okay We'll put some over here. We'll turn the grid off for a time. Select this. We'll put some over here. We'll put some over here and also just have to click over here. So now for this session we will understand the concept of lighting and also we'll just uh, go through its parameter because it's very basics and so you have to just work out from basics and let's start I will go to the rendering tab and here you have the lighting features which is present over here make sure that you are in rendering tab also when you go up you will found all the lighting parameters and te texturing parameters which is situated in your rendering tab so that would be fine and also you are in rendering so discuss lighting one by one so for lighting you have to go to attribute editor to adjust some of the settings so at first this is the ambient light so clicking over here your light will be formed at the center now this light is basically for lighting a particular area which is a which may be a huge or a small area that means it will focus on a particular section if you press 7 you can see the light as it's an ambient light that's why it's just showing your model like this you can in decrease the intensity and if you see the render what you will get you will get like this so you have the sh shadow which is casting over here and also if you want to increase the shadow ray trace shadow and just shadow radius shadow rays and shadow limits 
so as you can see let's change the view as you can see it's forming the shadow now and also if you decrease the shadow uh, uh, limits depth limits it will not produce like so hard uh, and it has some soft corners only as you can see it just faded off if you just put around one and let's have a look just put one it will just a little bit fit up your shadow so right now it will be in zero and also you have object display so we don't require this because we will discuss later words if you want to change the color you can change from here and now one more features if you go here you found the direction light which is second the point light the spotlight which is third and fourth so you can change from here also so this is the area now the, it's changed to area and this is the direction also like this way you can change so i will make manually so i will go to press 6 here you have the directional light if you click over here now you found the light which is pointing towards here okay so i will just uh, enlarge this and if you are enlarging the directional light it will not affect your intensity as intensity is very very much important in lighting especially in the 3d software so as you can see if i press 7 we found nothing but as you can move this it really changes the light uh, detail will change if you move this light so let's have a render and let's see what happens So as you can see it's working quite well and if you want to change the color you can change from here as you can see it's affecting your scene so you can also change it from here if you change the intensity you can change it quite well and control D now you have two lights so in a particular scene if you have two or three light that would be better because uh, rather than having one light at a time you should go for two or three light and you can also add different colors so right now i'm not focusing in it i will just tell you the uh, features same we have the shadow and the mental ray so here you have the emit photons what photon does it will just calculate the internal uh, uh, lighting and also it will just smooth some of your corners like uh, this particular section which is which has two connections one is the uh, from the model to the surface and another one is the from polygon to polygon okay that means this face this face one connection and this model this part and the uh, downward part so it has two connections so it will just bounce that thing bounce the you can say shadows into the corners so like this way you can increase the emit photon but it will take time and okay so for a time i will just off this thing and it's coming under mental ray in caustics and global illumination we will discuss the in detail in later later words so here you have the shadow so i will just select use mental ray shadow and also you have the custom shaders so we don't require this as you can see this i select and just have a render so it's completely depend on the direction of your light i will increase the intensity by 700 so if you if you just rotate this as you can see the direction of the light gets changed if you rotate like this if you render this as you can see the direction really changes if you change the arrows that means the arrow which is facing here it's facing to the model light is coming from here that means this arrow denotes that particular thing the uh, source of light is here somehow here and just it's falling to the object so you can change your uh, you can say the direction of the light so i will discuss another one which is 
the point light also called omni okay so i will click this point light and it's just formed here and if you uh, go up as you can see a soft type of light this is also known as bulb light so as you can see it's bouncing quite well so in maya if you are using any external source of light like physical sun and sky or the environment light or the daylight or night light system then you can put one one or two light that would be fine but uh, by using this all you can't uh, just uh, have a good lighting in from one uh, only one light so you have to adjust two or three lights in that model or sometimes maybe five or six so it depends on you so i just select this light and here you have the color so same the color and if i select the light and just put or press t button you found the tangent which is this so as you can select the tangent will move and it will direct the uh, lighting shape and here you have a arrow which is a button toggle button so if the tangent is facing over here it it has higher intensity at this po point and lower intensity at this point so if you click here you found one more controls as you can see it will fall off your light so i will just uh, decrease the intensity by 0 0.500 and also we'll check the in the uh, render preview as you can see it's uh, bouncing quite well and we have the darker area also but we have used only one light so we'll just go and uh, close that render tab now if you click over here your ordinary light will form without having any tangent so like this way you can just put your light and obviously you have shadow and you have depth map shadow which will create some depth into and ray trace shadow is basically for reflective surface or refractive surface so for a time we will check this because we are in mental ray tab so you have to check this if you select any object right click assign new material and i will just select all of them at first assign new material and you have the uh, fongi so as you can see it's getting reflected and also you can change the transparency level as you can see all of them are affecting because we have put it only one texture in all of them so as you can see it's reflecting quite well it's a shadow so it will bounce the light quite well and also uh, if you select this light and if i just go to the top section we have the light here and what i will do i will just uh, off the grid and We'll just select the light, Control D. We'll put some more over here. Control D. We'll make a back. Okay. So now, what else we will do? Go to color. We'll change the lighting color by lighter blue. We'll change this color to I think uh, some more white. And now, as you can see, it has three lights, which is bouncing from here, here, and here. So if you just have a view and just look at your render, so what you will get, you will get a cool nice detail as you can see here, three lighting are bouncing on your model and also your model is producing some sort of ray trace shadow. Okay, so you have shininess and also this way you can just work with attribute editor. If you want to change the uh, color of the shadow if you want any image here you can just go to there click here and just have any image it will just show over here so if you need mountain definitely it will show as you can see a little bit of changes as you can see now it's getting changes it's producing some sort of texture also because we have just uh, taken the mountain reference and just put it over here so yeah it's working like texture okay so but it's not te texture it's only a map inside your shadow so each and every panel has its own map if you select 
as you can see this thing each and every thing has its own map okay each and every light has its own map so uh, you have the uh, mental data tab if if you found this checker box that means it's all go to your map map means your image or maybe which is present in maya or even in computer okay so you just go over here and just have the images file will just directly call up your file which is present inside your system and these are the preloaded uh, textures inside my app okay so make sure that whenever you are working in reflective surface you should on your ray trace and so select and see just have a look okay fine so okay so now we will just delete this light and we'll press 6 again now here you have the uh, spotlight what spotlight does it will focus and like this if i press 7 kind of now it's working quite well as you can see this is it like torch light so you can change if you want to see from the light you can go first select the light go to panel and here you have the perspective so you have in the perspective but you can go to look through selected now you are seeing from the light as you can see here so like this I will point okay so go to panel perspective perspective now you have the light which is just casting over here change the color to a little bit of bluish and also the intensity by default intensity would be one you have to change it if you need more if you are working in a huge light setup you you can have more so control d will just duplicate this light as you can see both are forming uh, uh, different lights here you have the one light here you have the another one so like this way you can work quite well and also we'll just put it over here and just change the color to so as you can see as it is producing the uh, light source and here you have the darker region it's also producing the second light source as you can see both are generating circle we'll select the light and we'll delete the scene so we'll press 6 and here we have the area light so area light by default has the intensity of 1 but it needs to be increased quite well and if I press 6 7 now you can see the area light area light is completely depends on intensity as each and every light is dependent on intensity but if you increase the size of the area definitely it will just uh, affect your scene so if you are decreasing the size definitely you have to work in intensity by increasing it you don't have to and you have to just down this value to very low level so we'll change the light somehow like this so this is basically for window light as you can see here we have the mental ray node and I'll show uh, if I just have a look if you want to see the shape of the light so you can see from here use light shape which is inside uh, area light inside the attribute editor area light shape one okay so as you can see area light use light shape and you should have to check the visible and if you look at it see so if you increase the intensity definitely it will just work like this okay so if I change at your render screen and what we will get let's see so as you can see this is like a softbox which is present inside studio especially the photo studio so 
you can work like this if you are not satisfied with the shape you can just off the shape by simple going to area light you shape off now you can see the shape okay so like this way you can work this is the last light which is present in maya in mental retap which is volume light just click over here it is just like that of a obri but it has a higher volume which is higher intensity as compared to the omni so as you can see it's not dependent on your shape and if you go nearby your lighting will fall okay so here you have the color and like this way go to shadow that pop shadow now so ray trace shadow so definitely it will work on your shadow and you if you press t you have the controls of light if you press in this button you have more controls if you want to go to your previous click over here press w and now you can move your light so these are the features and now uh, as you have seen we have covered the basics of light introduction chapter and also you have the little bit idea about which light will affect how much it will affect and what would be the shape of the light so let's meet to the next session for a detailed discussion about this pattern and all okay so let's meet to the next session